Welcome back to Art Chat with John and Bogdan. Delighted to have you back. Uh, some great news. First of all, Bogdan has come back after his three three week trip to Romania. He's healthy and sound and absolutely exhausted and he's gone to bed. Uh, we've had some really, really good news this week. We uh, finally got word that our uh, officially the, the uh, nonprofit has been approved by the IRS, which means that anybody who gives us donations now can deduct that from their taxes. So we're able to really get started in earnest. We've got a uh, uh, our first gala, kind of an inaugural party to kick off the new nonprofit. So some very exciting times. So uh, let's just get rolling because Bogdan's the only one that had any news. If you like what you see today, please uh, consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, hit that notification bell and it'll let you know when we have new material. Hi, I'm John and this is Bogdan. In 2015, we gave up our day jobs and started our own freelance creative business. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. It's uh, the last week in Bucharest for me, and it's time to make a trip to the Peasant Museum to look for some uh, unique items that can be auctioned at the silent uh, auction at uh, the Aripa Arte Gala in Houston in March 1st. So I'm gonna take you with me at this uh, fabulous um, place where you can find all kinds of traditional souvenir if you want, but not only. Uh, it's a nice place and filled with uh, all kinds of uh, unexpected items, new and old. Most importantly, the snow is almost gone and it smells like spring. So um, even the Weather Channel said that this week is going to be a uh, quite warm and uh, we should expect uh, temperatures up to 40 60 degrees and which is lovely so yeah it's a it's a nice morning so um, let's enjoy it together That was the shop of the museum, the peasant museum here in Bucharest. I got some um, ceramic tiles made here in a 
region of Romania that it's well known for ceramic tiles and for uh, not ceramic tiles only but for uh, items made of ceramic it's called Corun and uh, I also found some um, uh, vintage uh, tablecloth that I can use for some art projects uh, in those urban areas I, um, I started some time ago. It was actually a beautiful moment. It was back in, I think, 2019. And um, I have been making collages for about 10 years, I think. And uh, it was kind of like my own thing, just posting on social, Instagram and stuff like that. Hey guys, uh, I forgot to mention, one of these days, um, uh, while I interview people here in Romania, I met with uh, some uh, members of the Bucharest Collective Collage. So this is a group of uh, young artists trying uh, to promote, to create and promote collage art, which is um, not, I guess, not that uh, uh, popular here. Um, there is, from the place I came from right now, but I just want to mention how excited they uh, they were uh, talking about their project and talking about promoting collage art. And I had a fabulous discussion with uh, one of the members, uh, Andrei Stan, and uh, he explained and uh, he was happy to share with me everything they do. And all these bites of interview will be shared in that uh, video at the gala, at Aripa Gala in Houston on March 1st and I want you to, to uh, if you have time to look them up on Instagram, they, they do fabulous art and uh, yes, I want to thank them to, to be uh, organizing this meeting with me and to talk with me. What Romania needs right now, that sense of um, helping each other because if I'm successful, you're going to be successful. That's a community at the end of the day. Hey guys, it's Tuesday evening and I've been invited to today by two people at the same opening and that is uh, one of the artists here, uh, Andrea Barina Tolofanu, and, and by Silvia, my friend from Mexico City who um, saw this exhibition and said let's go together. And so we went and it was fabulous and I'm, I'm really pleased that I was here and uh, even chat a bit with uh, Andrea about this exhibition, about uh, the art in general. Uh, mă cheamă Andrea Marina Tofoleanu. Uh, sunt uh, un om sunt o fată simplă, pictez și mă bucur de viață și în uh, seara asta este, este venisajul expoziției 21 grame de suflet, unde expun uh, 29 de femei. Hey guys, it's Thursday morning here 
I'm having my strong espresso because I have a tough day today. I um, have um, three interviews with uh, three different artists in three, three different locations. And, uh, you know, I overbook myself as usual and I have to uh, pay a visit to one of uh, a friend of mine, uh, the queen of fashion, if you want. Um, she is a, a, a famous Romanian host that I work with many, many years in many, many television shows. And um, she, like me, uh, took a different uh, path in her career and she is doing, um, she has her own fashion house now, uh, Andrea Raicu. And I can't wait to see her uh, new location and um, what she's doing and how she looks like. I haven't seen her in years. I've seen her all the time on social media. We, we follow each other, but uh, I never got to, to meet her in years now. So, for a good day. And here I am by the Andrea Raiku Fashion House and I'm really keen to meet her and uh, see the show. It's gonna be great. Okay, so here I am. God, there's a lot of stairs here. It keeps you fit, I guess. Ah, and there he, she is, the <laughs> queen of fashion. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Mwah. Mwah. L let's see. So good to see you. So it's been so long. So, huh? guys, she is my forever friend. We work together, and just like me, she reinvented herself, and now she has her own fashion house, Amaline. Tell me about this fashion house. Tell me how oh God, old it is, is, and how, wh why, why Amaline, and and why a fashion house? Because that's inside of me. Style is inside of me. I was raised. I was born with it, and then I was raised, and I developed it. And then I worked in fashion and then I was very stylish and that everybody wanted to be like me. So of I want to be like you. <laughs> to you to get dressed as I was getting dressed. So I created this line that previously had my name. But uh, two years ago I rebranded and now it's Amalin. That's a different name that I got in a meditation uh, journey because I'm also in this on this journey and uh, yeah it's uh, it's and here is my uh, my shop my showroom I love every every bit of it and I, I love you very much and, I love uh, you too I love those uh, I love your creations thank it's, you so much they're you very know, feminine you know in, in a way I, I, we have to I have to say that in a way we let's we, say like this so they can okay see okay <laughs> so let's let's switch now so okay. in a way we, we do we both do art, oh, right? Yeah? Because yeah. because fashion is art. If, yeah. if you want to see, if yeah. you want to say that. But um, yeah, too bad I can't wear this because <laughs> look, guys, it's just fabulous, fabulous stuff here. Yeah, they're very. Thank you so much. I am very happy that you're here and yes. that you like them. They're very feminine because I started this uh, journey from inside outside learning in, an, in a moment where women want to be very strong and just prove themselves and most of the time they just want to be like very strong and they sometimes they forget to be very feminine so guys um girls maybe <laughs> if you come to bucharest i truly recommend uh, and andrea's uh, fashion house uh, showroom amalie Thank it was you so great much. to see you great to see you too <laughs> Guys, uh, my time here in Bucharest this time, it's coming to an end. I had a fantastic time actually. This is uh, the last week, the very last two days left in Romania and this is going to be my officially last 
update so let's see what happened actually this week this week was uh, the most productive one which I thought that the previously weeks were productive but this last week was the most one and that's because I really got to meet high caliber young artists very involved in the art scene here and uh, I got to chat with them on video, I got to buy some art from them, I got to um, get a feeling of how it's to be an artist here and um, uh, I connected with them, it was, uh, it was great. I met established artists and I met uh, students, I met uh, um, people that practice art as hobby because they can't really afford make a living out of art and uh, they actually um, put the the creating art task on um, a second step on their life um, then uh, after all this swirl of interviews and social media and filming people started to notice me and then um, they got very curious about who I am and what I'm doing and uh, they were inviting me afterwards to have a coffee, a tea and uh, chat even more with me which was, that was lovely and uh, I, I hope uh, that uh, I was able to, you know, promote Aripa Arte as much as I can and I hope Aripa Arte will be able to raise enough funds over the next few years to support some of these uh, uh, Romanian artists in their art practices, in their art projects and uh, whatever that is uh, uh, that we can make a difference in their life and uh, as well promote the Romanian art abroad because it's guys it's fabulous art is bubbling there is so much art going on here beautiful art and uh, it deserves to be seen and now it's uh, I'm rushing out is my last trip in the city basically because I keep trying to find some cute little things that could be auctioned at the gala at the Aripa at the Aripa Arte Gala in Houston so yes I'm gonna take you with me on the last trip in Bucharest uh, looking for I don't know what in that store to 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 risk me um, doesn't work for me too small too common nothing special there's so many uh, artists in this town what's going on and um, I just remember there is a uh, kind of a religious store um, over here I'm gonna check that out and see maybe there's something cute maybe there's a icon on wood I can uh, I can look at and bring home. I know there's some of you, some of you, some of our friends and collectors that do like the painted uh, 
icon, so maybe I can find something there that uh, can be easily transported or packed and transported home. You know, there are so many graffiti and tags over here, and I had the um, I really had a very good conversation with an artist, with Alex Baciu, the other day about this street art, urban art, that what happened is, you like it or you may not like it, um, it exposed the public to art. And so everybody is talking about art and everybody is bumping on colors and uh, abstractions and uh, forms and geometry and you name it every day from uh, uh, around the streets uh, all the way to their apartment doors and that forced everyone to see art every day and uh, decide what they like what they don't like uh, what's their style and i think uh, overall at the end of the day all this graffiti mess brought some brought the concept of art and colors in everybody's home you don't need to be an, uh, an art to necessary lover or an art collector this is for everyday people that never thought that art can be part of their life which was a very very interesting concept I guess that's why it's so much art bubbling in this town and in Romania in general. those who you don't know the revolution the Romanian revolution in 89 starts in this square actually and I want to show you that uh, balcony the famous balcony where uh, Ceausescu was actually ran off uh, is this building here on my left side let me let me uh, get over these trees so I can show you the building better and uh, yeah dark times what can I say and that's that's the building and right there it's the balcony where he was uh, having a speech when the crowd uh, started to protest anyway I just wanted to to show you where I am and what's going on and uh, the religious store, this is a, uh, actually, before I go to the store here, this uh, church here is called Cretulescu Church and uh, it's part of uh, Cretulescu's family where my friend Princess Brianna Caraja is coming from. And uh, the religious store is right there in this corner, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there and see what can I find. There we go, this is a store. Let's see what can I find inside. If there's something on my budget as well. store and I couldn't find anything really because uh, who knew we are uh, out of artists basically all these uh, 
uh, iconograph I uh, artists are uh, at the moment busy painting the new cathedral in town and uh, everybody's busy with something else and the stores run out of uh, authentic painted icons I don't want a picture of a, an icon stick on a piece of wood because it's, uh, it's cheap and it's not necessary art um, so uh, I'll keep going see what else can I find great that's it from Houston Texas so uh, hope you guys are having a great week uh, we are going to keep working, getting this new nonprofit off the ground and trying uh, to get pulled down over jet lag. So have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>